death ball scenarios. So as much as possible, I would want to see homeboys being able to execute all of that. But of course, when it comes down to the early game, uh, early game scenario, they might be losing out in quite a lot of that. So they gotta have to play it slow and steady and wait for the proper time to actually try to contest for a lot of these uh, a lot of these uh, objectives. Especially since we are looking at Ling, we can we can forego all of these objectives. Play for the late stages of the game. Don't allow Chibi to be uh, to lose his position in the jungle. Try to put, obtain more of the river control as much as possible. Yep, this is a match three game of one. Homeboys against Team Spirit, the Grudge Match, the Revenge Series. Homeboys definitely looking to gonna state their name again, right? Right the wrongs from the M5 group stage. Both teams refining, refined in terms of the uh, roster. Some changes, some adjustments, but for the better as well. Both teams used to be champions of their own region. Team Spirit, the recent one for EECA, uh, for the MCC at least. Though, as a start, I personally am going to look at both a Samo and a Zorn. This Roma is going to have a lot of uh, duty to get the junglers a hit. So, especially since we are looking at the fact that we do have Sao that's playing as a T-Girl, they do have a pretty good answer to Homeboy's death, uh, death Ball game. And it is indeed going to be that counter-engage counter, counter -engage kind of gameplay that they want. And with Kid Bomba onto Arlet as well, they do have that initiative factor that they can play around with. So, it's pretty darn scary with what Team Spirit can do in terms of initiating in a teamfight. Homeboy's got to have to really keep an eye out of things and make full use of Zorn's capability to open up the map and really keep a look out of where uh, Kid Bomba as well as Sao will always be. Yep. Making sure that Chibi gets his gets fed as well, right? Make, uh, he mm -hmm. went for the recall, but allow Chibi to come in. Wait for the purple buff next, because Turtle is going to be on the top side, so slightly favoring Chibi. If they want to go for the rush, they can, but obviously for the Link, he want that buff first. Zorn will be able to absorb some XP in the mid side. They definitely gonna have to bide their time a little bit. But in the meantime, Zon he will slowly get himself to level 4 while Team Spirit prepares himself and postures for the turtle fight. Zorn's gonna be chunked down low, retribution. More out, Chibi, he needs the purple buff. And now better extra gets used. Good Ooh. penalty zone on a 2, followed by a Tempest of Blaze. And alongside with Angela, Heart Guard is first blood over to the side of Fudil. Back, Marl, control, Primal Wrath, use Kid Bomba, take us away, and a counter kill for Marl. Oh, Chibi! On to the side of homeboy, Chibi wants to run away. Marl leaps over the wall, transform back into human form, and just gets a double kill for himself. Zappa looking to run away, but Marl comes in, looks for collection, Whoa. finds the Lycan House, triple kill for Marl. Uh, yikes, of course, giving the snowball factor over to Marl is not what we wanted to see, as I was I was really expecting and hoping that Homeboy would just kind of bide their time and not deliver themselves over to Team Spirit. But now that they kind of delivered the three kills over to Marl, it's gonna be a little bit tough for uh, to really stop this, uh, this Roger in the next few minutes from now. This is what we call the worst case scenario, right? Mao just got the Wind Talker <laughs> as well. Mm -hmm. Gets the Wind Talker, gets a triple kill, gets a turtle. Majority of the gold lead Team Spirit has definitely uh, all in the, the, yeah, in, in the bank of this Roger. Yeah, so the uh, homeboys, yes, they do have the battery. You know, the, the typical battery between um, the Angela as well as the Ling, we expect quite a lot. And looking at the replay, we have a very genuine, uh, we have a very good idea what they want to do. But Chibi doesn't really have a lot of HP to work around with throughout the entirety of that fight. And Udil didn't have a lot of mana to work with as well to really keep, uh, to really keep Chibi up and alive throughout the entire fight. So yeah. a lot of DPS loss. But that was just one fight. Hopefully, they will be able to climb back a little bit stronger for the next upcoming one. Uh, hard guard expiring as well. We've always, at least in MPL Malaysia, we always have this uh, pet peeve of why are we putting playmaking mid laners on an Angela? Uh, it feels like one of those moments, right? Like, you we, yep. yeah, you can only kind of protect a teammate. You see Savo though, good flip, looking for the crowd control, implosion committed, Chibi. Waiting assistance from the hard guys, gonna get it from Udio right now. Still wants to dive Savo. Savo flickers. They commit the Tempest of Blaze and a couple of dashes around. Savo finally gets picked up and Chibi also makes a full retreat. He's gonna be fine and dandy. So that was a very comical play just to get the kill onto Savo. I mean, it's a good thing because Homeboys didn't lose anyone. In the meantime, it's definitely a lot more aggression coming in from Team Spirit while they want to keep Marl on the curve. As much as possible, he's already gotten 3 kills. He's currently at level 8 as compared to Chibi at level 7. As long as they get themselves a good amount of river control, they should be able to generally push homeboys away. And as long as Team Spirit makes a good trade and the right trade, 
they will constantly be able to be snowballing and keeping homeboys and uh keeping homeboys check. They also have to be very careful, right? Because they have the final slash, which can always catch you. As I say that uh... final slash goes wide. So homeboys at least know that the Arlen doesn't have the ultimate. Not willing to commit to the turtle dance either. It's a short cooldown, so it's not that big of a deal, I suppose. But <clears throat> two is the three. Current scoreline and Team Spirit, they do have about 800 gold lead on top of homeboys. With the turtle currently standing up tall at the top lane, both teams, they are trying to bide their time a little bit. Understandably, Team Spirit is the one that controls the fight, or rather controls the pace of the game for now. Homeboys, they always have that insurance policy, which is going to be the clot when you go to that late game. time. Yeah, it does take time. And Hiko sees him. And that's gonna cut the wave as well. So Team Spirit, they're gonna get priority over the turtle again. Both goal leaders are gonna respectively cut the waves. I would say that homeboys, as much as possible, they do have very strong split push potential. But unfortunately, it's not exactly that early whereby they can play all of these split pushes. In the meantime, top lane. Gonna she be again hard on top of him looking for kid bomba kid bomba dashes with the vengeance the heal back out with the demon mark and his zone is forced to retreat good penalties on both so much attach bar and kid bomba on the edge but they cannot get the kill kid bomba still oh, survives oh. finally dies thanks to nets the commitment from homeboys had to be astounding for that to happen wow the macro play coming in from homeboys and they are just coming in one after another being a surprise one after another as well. Team Spirit definitely did not expect that because Team Spirit, it seems like they are able to roll along with it. They are able to get, uh, they are almost able to get Chibi and then suddenly boom, Support came out of nowhere and then they are about to get Support, then boom, Nets came out of nowhere. Homeboys, they've got each other's backs and I think that that is just the beauty of homeboys for that previous fight. I gotta say, that could've gone a lot worse, right? They only lost Kid Bomba because Kid Bomba survived for way longer than he should've. Homeboy is still getting that kill, I think, going over to Nets. That is always gonna be great. Ulio takes care of the bottom wave, can always join with the hard guard. Homeboy is catching up. In terms of the net worth, right, they're under 2,000 deficit, so within an arm's reach. It's definitely manageable at this point, especially since we are kind of sub 10 minutes into the game. We on, the only thing that we have lost is currently bottom lane first here, but in the meantime, Sawo. Implosion only on the Zorn, pushes him back with a sacred hammer. Zorn can't even use the primal wrath, so mega kill given over tomorrow. The team spirit able to at least feed this Roger well. 4 and 0 so far. I gotta say the crowd the wave clear coming from homeboys is looking to be pretty nice actually. They've been defending their middle lanes pretty effectively, especially since Zorn has been up and about all the time, but middle lane. Come on, final slash was used. Net BMI's out, did not have to use the purify. So not much was lost, but Team Spirit did crack the mid-tier one. That means the map now opened up for Team Spirit. Right as I was talking about the fact that they could clear waves pretty effectively. Zorn unfortunately lost his life for that fight, as such they wasn't able to really repel Team Spirit away. As such, all of the first tier turrets has already been taken down unfortunately, and now Team Spirit will have a very good control over the river. That river domination ultimately is going to help Team Spirit in more of a snowball factor. And Marl haven't seen a death just yet. And unfortunately, I think that this is the point in time where Marl will just continue, uh, keep on going on and on. Want a full on commit onto Hiko, but he's healing up. Brace my festival of blood. So hard to take him down, and Nets still has the purify. He's gonna use it. Forced out by the implosion. Maro joins the fight. Zorn becomes the target. Penalty zone! Flicker from the spot on a tree! And Chibi is gonna jump into the fight. Final slash Ooh. from the side of Kid Bomba to catch Nets, but Maro has already gone down. Shut down by Chibi. Team Spirit wants to continue fighting, but homeboys will say a sala vista. They are out. That's definitely good initiations coming in from Team Spirit, being able to catch down onto Nets and forcing out the Purify. Homeboys, although they definitely did react very promptly, and they do have very good counter-engage uh, counter engage kind of uh, answers over to Team Spirit. But the quick fingers coming in from Kid Bomba essentially just stopping Nets right on his feet when he comes down to the Blazing Duet. Homeboys just lost so much damage throughout the entire team fight. It could have been so much more worse for Team Spirit if not for Kid Bomba. Yeah, Kid Bomba, you know, nothing has changed. This man still the kryptonite for homeboys with his plays. First Lord is up, homeboys looking to fish for some info. But the only team that can fish better than homeboys is Team Spirit with the tools that they have. So they're gonna take the priority over this Lord Pit. 
The one fishing would be Hiko. The, uh, the I'm offended is the one thing that we gotta have to look out for for homeboys because the one that can really open up the map is gonna be Zorn as well as the part. So, do we want Zorn to really engage and be super committal with this Earth Shatter plus Flicker combination to catch someone? Would they be able to even do anything at that point in time? Make it by playing distraction back. Sapat finds a penalty zone. It's a two way fight on two different ends. Sapat does go Ooh. down, but Jimmy found a kill on tomorrow, and this Lord. should be Lord for homeboys. A double kill for him as Zorn takes the Lord away. Sabo chased down by Net. Ooh. Homeboys finds a wipeout hey. against Team Spirit. A triple kill for the head uh, to the heads of Chibi. They even got in the Lord. That is massive coming in from Homeboys. Really great, for, uh, great play throughout. It seems as though Sepat was in a really tight spot, being uh, being hooked up coming from Hiko. But it seems like it was all in the game. We've got Chibi and Zon just preparing to come in from the back, and we've got so much attention just tunnel visioning onto Sepat. This really used so much just to bring down this one Terizla. And the moment that. Zon as well as Chibi comes out, they don't have an answer to Chibi anymore. And remember what we talked about the lore changes, right? The lore was helping homeboys batter Team Spirit with the true damage. Zon does get caught. Final slash from Kid Bomba. Implosion committed by Subbat against finds the back. The force line send Lover's Flicker out. Chibi with the Tempest of Blaze. Kid Bomba and Savo mm. both go down. And Team Spirit not able to hold back homeboys. The fleeting time for Udo also helping homeboys stay in the fight longer. The Lost starts pummeling on the top inhibitor. Zorn is going to be pulled back, but the damage from Maru not enough. Oh, They're going to do it again. Hiko finds the hook, and that will be Zorn down. Team Spirit defends the base. Inhibitor will all be kept standing. Very aggressive push from Homeboys. They have put so much of their resources up in the top lane and really forcing things out of Team Spirit. And in fact, being able to get a kill down on the Kid Bomba as well as Sao at the cost of Zorn. I think that that is absolutely massive. But if especially since we're looking at a sub-12 minutes Lord, they are able to bring down all of the outer turrets and even be able to bring the middle lane inhibitor down to a sliver. In fact, it's barely standing up. So homeboys, they have got a great stand on Team Spirit and I think that they just need to get one more good fight before the Lord and they should be able to put the nail in the coffin onto Team Spirit. Sapai is starting to become an issue as well. His penalty zones have been detrimental to Team Spirit, constantly catching the back line, and it's not like they can burst him down. Oh, Zon! Zon does find Savo. It's not the ideal target that he wants to go for. Just wants some info. Team Spirit, at least they can drag it out until the next Lord. But, you know, Link's Playground is when the map is open for business. And Chibi is going to have the luxury to do that. Yep, he's just going to be uh, getting Farm City. He's quite literally going to be playing Farmville for now for Chibi. And he's just going to be getting as much gold as he can right now. With 4,000 gold lead on top of Homeboys, they have massively spread themselves throughout the entire map of Deep Spirit's Northern Jungle. And they have a very good idea what they are trying to look out for, especially since the Lord is going to be popping down in the bottom lane. Applying all these pressure up in the top lane will require Team Spirit to take a lot more time to really respond to the Lord that will eventually uh, appear in the bottom. And homeboys have set up a side waves as well. The bottom one, I believe, is going to be neutral, but the top one will eventually push in their favor. And if you're homeboys, I don't think you're in a rush to take the Lord at any time. In fact, you can just constantly fish for Team Spirit. Mm -hmm. One, uh, I need to have everyone keep their eye up in the top lane because that is an Angela that will be pushing up in the top lane. Having global presence, he can actually just hot guard on the Chibi anytime he wants. So that is going to be a constant pressure from homeboys onto Team Spirit's top lane. And Team Spirit, they have to respond to that. Respond to that. We also need to remember that we have a Ling, we have a uh, we have a Claude. They can respond to every one of these lanes and be back for the Lord's fight Ooh. in the nick of time. Flicker, Earth Shatter, the counter engage for the side of Kid Bomba. Chibi reaches the back line, Subbite will be taken down, but it's just immortality as Homeboys finds the jugular oh. of Team Spirit. Four in a row is Chibi with a triple kill and he goes not to stand. Oh. Maniac for Chibi and Homeboys in a blink of an eye deliver first blood in this best of two against Team Spirit. EECA will taste defeat for the first time in a long time under the hands of Homeboys. Very clean, precise plays coming from homeboys. They understand that the early game is just not quite their game. Even though they have the Ling and the Angela battery to keep